hello and welcome you all today's video we are going to solve two problem related to the topic namely singularity from this complex analysis okay whenever you are going to appear net get exam or any entrance exam for phd you will definitely get one or two question from this area okay and if you know the techniques to solve this kind of problem then these are very simple question and very easily you can score marks from these problems okay so we will solve two problem one is from june 2014 it was asked in june 2014's paper and then we will solve another problem which was asked maybe uh, december 2013 okay so let's try to solve these two problems and many more questions are yet to come in the upcoming video so this is our fz and the singularities are given by take this part and make it equal to 0 and that will give you e to the power 2 pi i by z e to the power 2 pi n i where n integers okay now that will give you z is equal to 1 by n okay so these are your singularities where n belongs from z okay now your options options are all about in some option they are claiming the isolated singularity in some option they are claiming about poles in another option they are claiming about removable singularity and the fourth option they are saying each of f each pole of f and in the fourth option okay now come to the classification of this singularity here z is equal to 1 by n we are getting and let's check limit z tends to 1 by n fz what is the behavior of this quantity okay and that will give us the clear idea about whether these are pole or any other kind of singularity so you have this kind of thing and that is limit z tends to 1 by n here it will be 1 by n minus 1 simply do the calculation here and it will be 2 pi i into n minus 1 and you know that e to the power 2 pi n i is equal to 1 so it becomes 1 minus 1 so it is 0 and you are getting infinity that implies that z is equal to 1 by n turns out to be pole which implies that third option is your correct option in the third option they have given us that f has infinitely many poles third option is correct and also observe that here you are getting z is equal to 1 then minus 1 then half minus half and so on all of these are pole and in the second option they say that f has removable singularity at z is equal to 1 but you are getting z is equal to 1 as a pole that implies second option is false okay now only option 1 and fourth option you have to check okay also observe this sequence 1 by n and this is sequence sequence of poles okay sequence of poles if you consider 
n from natural number okay only take the plus values then you will have 1 by n as sequence of poles and the limit point of this sequence is 0 and you know a result that says that the limit point of the sequence of poles is a non-isolated essential singularity ok it is a non-isolated essential singularity. So, your z is equal to 0 you are getting as limit point of this sequence that means z is equal to 0 must be must be non-isolated essential singularity but in the first option they are saying that f has an isolated singularity at z is equal to 1. So, first option is also your false option clear ok that means you need to know that result that limit point of the sequence of poles turns out to be non isolated essential singularity all right up to that no problem but come to the fourth option where they are claiming that each pole of f is of order 1 so you need to check the order of the poles now to check the order of pole you just follow the steps where you have obtained z is equal to 1 by n as your pole and if this limit limit z tends to 1 by n z minus 1 by n z minus 1 by n into f z if value of this limit turns out to be a finite quantity then we will say that z is equal to 1 by n is pole of order 1 or in other words all of these poles are simple poles ok. So, your job is to perform this calculation and this is z minus 1 e to the power 2 pi i z minus 1. So, just do the calculation and you will find that this turns out to be a finite quantity in fact it will be n minus 1 by 2 pi i n q this kind of stuffs you will have just perform the calculation and finally you can conclude that all of these poles are become pole of order 1 or their simple pole that means your fourth option is a correct option finally you have third and fourth option as your correct options ok says that your function f z equals to e to the power z by e to the power z minus 1 then the four options are given first option says that f is entire second option says that the only singularities of f are poles third option f has infinitely many poles on the imaginary axis fourth option is each pole of f is simple ok. So, these are very you can say common question on singularity ok and how to tackle this kind of problem look at first of all write down your function this is f z is equal to f z is equal to e to the power z by e to the power z minus 1 ok. To find the singularity first of all take this part e to the power z minus 1 is equal to 0. So, that f z becomes infinity and that will imply e to the power z is equal to 1 and that is e to the power 2 pi k i where k is 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on ok all right that will give z is equal to 2 pi k i ok and it is immediately clear that all of these 
2 pi k i that means 0 then 2 pi i there will be minus 2 pi i also then it will be 4 pi i minus 4 pi i and so on ok. All of these are z is equal to this are poles and pole of order 1. In other words these are all simple poles ok. Alright. So, we have obtained our poles and these are all simple poles. Moreover, all of this lies on the imaginary axis. Okay. So, this is your 0, this is 2 pi i, this is minus 2 pi i, 4 pi i, minus 4 pi i and so on. Okay. Now, come to the options one by one. First of all, f is entire. They are claiming that f is entire but obviously f has certain singularity so it is not an entire function so first option is false ok now come to second option second option says that the only singularities of f are poles yes all of these are actually poles so second option is the correct one the third option says f has infinitely many poles on the imaginary axis exactly we are getting this as our correct statement so third option is also correct fourth one each pole of f is simple yes we are getting all of these poles as simple pole or the poles of order one so fourth option is also correct so finally you are getting second third and fourth as your correct options